What's up, everyone? It's Coach Austin here with Hyper Strength and Conditioning with your Nerd Out and Workout Podcast, podcast. where we nerd out, work out, and podcast, podcast. with my co host, Kevin Arab Arabagan. What up, what up, what up? Today, we're going to be talking about what's been going on lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kev got some new golf lessons mm, set up. We'll talk about that. We're going to talk about our newest project at Hyper Strength and what we're doing for the community at Eastside San Jose. We're really excited Ooh, to do that. Okay. And we're going to be talking about how to properly properly measure your food because if you're trying to lose weight, mm-hmm. lose fat, and you're trying to get into a rhythm of eating right, but you're still not losing weight and you don't know why, it could be coming down to how you measure your food. Yep, yep, yep. If you measure Very your food. Very much. But with that, how's everything going, KF? Good, man. We had a good week. We had a great weekend for sure. Divisional win. Divisional win. Uh, we're going to keep this short and sweet. Uh, sucks to suck, <laughs> and you should have you should have made the field goal. Period, bro. Should have made the field goal, but that's nor here or there. It's done. It's done. We're moving on. That's all I gotta say about that. God, man, I would yeah. love to sit in those team meetings and see what they're talking about with the lions, <laughs> the loins, the loins. <laughs> you know, it, you know, I, you know. Everyone was making a big deal about them signing Zach Ertz. Ertz. Wait, so he signed? They signed. Uh, Detroit, for the tight end Zach Ertz was like, "Oh, Laporta's hurt. And like, this dude's not gonna play." Ertz is not playing. I think they brought him in because he's been playing against the Niners for like a couple years now, being so in he Arizona. Knows, kind of like, "Yo, well, what works? What worked for you guys and stuff like that." So they're gonna just for info, you know what I mean? When did he sign him? Like this week? Oh, shut up! Like this, literally this week? Yeah, man. Like a few days ago, and that's that's probably literally that's just for they're they're looking for info stuff like that. So. It's been a while since we played him. So I think the last time we played him was like Jim Schwartz. No. Got the, mad at Harbaugh. No, the handshake. <laughs> no, no. The, we played him recent more recently. There's a well, Jimmy was still our was our quarterback still. We had Debo already. Damn. Yeah. So we had played him one time. I I don't know what year it was, but it was fairly fairly recent. Not the Jim Harbaugh time, but Dude, he might go recent. to the Chargers. Yeah. That's very possible. They're still, but they're still there. I think they're on the second interview. And if I was Jim Harbaugh, I would definitely sign with the Chargers now because Ohio State just picked up a bunch of players through the portal. They picked up like three guys from Alabama, uh, two quarterbacks. Like they're going to be stacked next year. I almost Ohio want State? Ohio State. It sounds I like State's going to be stacked next year. Why? We lost Chuba. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> why? They just lost Chuba. He went to fucking Nevada. <laughs> we lost Chuba. Yeah. You know what? We got this new head coach. I like the new head coach, though. There is a new position open for head strength performance coach for football. At San Jose State? At San Jose State. There's one open in Green Bay. Oh, there is? Yeah. Mm. So, just saying. I'm not. Just saying. <laughs> So I'm not gonna see my son every day. <laughs> so yeah, he yeah, Chuba went to Nevada, you know, kick rocks. Why buddy. is that? I don't know. I think I think he just he got to San Jose State and was like <laughs> shit. <laughs> he he went to the stadium and he was like, Oh my Oh, this is San Jose State. Oh my god. Oh. I thought this was Stanford. <laughs> <laughs> shit. They both started with S. Oh, we'll go to Nevada. I wonder why it was blue and gold. I'm like, I didn't oh, what the understand. hell? I uh, will just go to Nevada. I'm wondering he didn't take Cal. That is, yeah, very weird. He didn't take Cal, but yeah, whatever. Sucks to suck. So. <laughs> Sucks to suck. What about you, man? How are you doing? It was good. Uh, everything's good. Uh, Junior is growing well. Wait, before you mention that, really quick, one more thing about the divisional. If you guys haven't seen it yet, this guy. Released a vlog. Did you watch it? I did watch the whole thing. It was great. Oh, and um, it, it's like a 15 minute video about like 22 minutes. 22 minutes of the day to life of uh, a hype man yeah. for the 49ers. It a little was, bit. Just a little it was bit. cool. It was a nice insight. You got to see the field. Saw Keena Turner on the field. Like you were like, oh, who's a celebrity? Yeah, because I truly did not know who was. There oh, really? In front of me. You would know more <laughs> Dude, than Keena I would. Turner. I like you know it's him when he smiles and stuff because he is has a great smile. I love to see him on TV. And then supposedly someone said. Two chains or someone like rapper walked by me. Oh yeah, I'm um, sure it was. Yeah. Um, there's some of the players from the. Did you see I commented on the video? Yeah, you dumbass. <laughs> Football, Football in America, America? <laughs> you dumbass. I was like, who the fuck is this? 
<laughs> and I saw it was like GSW. Yeah. I'm like, fucking get it, dude. Hey, you gotta like, you gotta subscribe, you gotta comment to get the algorithm going. I appreciate going, so. it. Yeah, that's so if, great. Check out his personal personal account. Check that video out. Check it out. It's a. Uh, it's literally called Coach Toloza on YouTube or Austin Ryan Toloza Senior. Yeah. And one the- one slight in the video though. So he walks around. Spoilers. He walks around the field pregame. Yeah. And he goes like, "Oh, this is where the visitors. This is the home." And he passes by the area where I sit. And he doesn't even mention me. Oh my so, god! I was like, "Oh, Get here it comes, baby. Out. Here it comes Austin. Get shout out. me out, baby." And he Get goes. Out. <laughs> I'm excited. Bro, I was bored. I was low key because like I was walking and uh NFL was present. Like NFL. So the security oh. was a little bit more tighter. Oh. So I was just trying to like get get it done. Let's just get it done yeah, I mean, before I get in trouble. <laughs> you almost you wanted to pick up that medicine ball though. I saw oh, you. Dude. Like, Bruh. You're, you're like, oh I like this setup <laughs> oh, here. Yeah. I was like, and then then he mentions, oh, if I go past this line, it's two hundred fifty grand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I better is. not. So I was it like, it it is a two hundred fifty thousand dollar grand. So yeah. if you streak at a football game, Oof. if you decide to do that, if you decide to streak in an NFL game, whatever stadium, I just know minimum is a two hundred fifty thousand wow. dollar fine to cross that yellow line during yeah. I think during operations and so. also so you also get to go to jail not jail jail there's actually a drunk tank in levi's oh is there there's a jail in oh. levi's i should have been put in there <laughs> um no uh so you Please get 250 k uh you're embarrassing <coughs> you embarrass yourself out there and don't you get banned from the stadium oh i don't know i know some places you get banned so i don't know is it worth it no don't be that guy you're not that guy i mean f- since my time working there we saw one guy get is that the against the the, the the Rams? Yeah, he had like the purple smoke yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I saw the smoke. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And someone like was running, like someone ran out there with the smoke and ran out, like ran through the tunnels to try to dispose the, of yeah, it. Yeah. Like he thought it was a bomb. But it was oh, funny because he, he ran in front of us and I was like, wow, if <laughs> that was a bomb, we were all dead. <laughs> like, why did you go inside? Like, go well, somewhere I, else, dude. Well, I mean, yeah, he's trying to get it out of the stadium. You know what I mean? So it doesn't disperse more. Yeah, but, but I thought that was, I thought, I remember, I. I remember seeing the videos of the guy running with it. That was crazy. Yeah. So I just remember we were in the tunnels and then some guy was running with this. Like he, because he was he was trying to run it out. Uh-huh. I was like, "The fuck is this purple smoke?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, some guy got tackled." Oh shit! <laughs> so it reminds me of uh, Batman, Adam West Batman. We had the bomb. You ever seen that? One? <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was but trying to get around. Get rid of it. You know, he didn't know where to throw it and stuff. So. <laughs> You know, but, but yeah, it's uh, it's uh, the the tagline of the the YouTube channel is uh, mm-hmm. documenting life lessons for my son. Yeah, that's pretty much go. how I'm starting it. So it's more of a vlog. A lot yeah. of people like my humor stuff, but I that channel is just more vlogging. Um, we're gonna definitely gonna vlog our trip to uh, Vegas. Ooh, let's go. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna vlog. I'm gonna they some of the people I put on the Reddit thread on the Niner thread. Uh huh. The video and people are like, "Are you doing the NFC Championship?" And I was like. Maybe, maybe we'll see how security is. You should. I'll try. Do something. Call like... times at ten a.m., dude. Wow. And the games oh, like, go like, at three. Is that is that is that uh, earlier than usual? Yeah. Well, I mean, I know like for a five o'clock game, our call time was around twelve or one. Oh yeah, four hours. But like for this three thirty game, the call time's at ten. I was like, this wow. is wow. There must be something behind it. Well, well, we don't even know what we're doing. Well, maybe also because like there's a ceremony if you if they're like at, if we win or something. You know how like there's on the stage. There is a ceremony. They they mentioned we might have to help set up. Yeah. So, but I'm like, if you know, if we lions, lose, I'm out. If the Lions win, I'm I'm, I'm not helping. I'm I'm meeting Kevin in the parking lot. <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and you know what, dude? If you're going to the game, you probably this is too late to see it, but we're we're tailgating. Hey. We're tailgating. We're gonna have dogs. Oh yeah. Who'd yeah. you uh what what can you say with are you're going on to the game? I'm going. Who's going with you? JP, Lynn, and my boy. First time hooking up for the game, Andrew. Agen, oh, baby. fucking Agen's going. Agen's going. Damn. We're going to have a huge time. We should do a tea time before. <laughs> Let's go to Prune Ridge real quick. <laughs> hey, man, 6 a.m. do it. Six He'll fucking Prune. do it. Uh, hey, get to my house at 5 a.m. We're going to go play nine. <laughs> we're going to get ready for the tailgate, and then we're going to watch football, baby. Agen's a, Agen's a avid golfer. Avid golfer. Avid golfer. So... 
uh, old buddy from college, and yeah, he's he's pretty good. Yeah, he's I like, put the call out. I was like, "Who? Anybody want to go NFC Championship?" He was all, "Bo, I'm down." Damn. And I'm like, "Let's ride." Do you, are you gonna get a the pass to the United Club or what? No, no, no. We this is game. This is NFC Championship. There's no time for socializing because that's what I learned last time about all these spots. It's all about socializing. It's socializing in there. Yeah, no, you're not watching the game. We're watching the game. We're sitting there. I washed my jersey. So, oh, that's what you were asking. Me yeah, about, because like. we lost last time in it, so you got to get rid of all that shit on it. So, oh. yeah. So, yeah, let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I'm excited, <laughs> but yeah. So you and Junior, you and Junior. Yeah, no, he's 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 doing well. Mm-hmm. He's uh he's rolling around. He's about. I think he's getting to the point where he's about to crawl. Um, he's not crawling yet. Mm, I th- not yet. I keep thinking this kid's walking already. No. Nah. He'll right. he'll he'll run soon. <laughs> we'll teach him how to run first. He's he's before triple crawling. jumping before he's fucking walking. <laughs> but he's doing this thing where um he hits himself. And oh, okay. my you know, Giselle's worried about it. Mm-hmm. And my grandparents her grandparent her parents were worried about it because he keeps hitting himself. And I'm I kind of chalked it up to like this guy's bored. <laughs> <laughs> and I Googled it. I was like, why is my six month old hitting himself? Uh huh. And it's like, oh yeah, he's uh he may want some more stimulation because he's oh, bored or okay. uh, he has he's a little bit immune to pain, so oh. he just does it. So I'll it, give that, him more fucking bluey. So <laughs> more uh, Miss Rachel dancing Miss fruit. Rachel fruit. Well, well, I started. I, I was like, well, maybe he just need more stimulation. Like you got, like he, he's a touchy guy. He's uh-huh. a physical kid. So I started tapping him, and I started typing myself like in the rhythm, <laughs> like kind of like doing a little mini haka, and then he was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> so yeah, he just needed he just, just he just he wants more out of life right he now. He wants more. He's uh he's gonna be a football player, probably. He's he's already learning how to protect. He's learning we'll cadences see. already. I mean he's like ready, set <laughs> <laughs> Ready T I like it. Ready T I like it. Say that Um but yeah, so with that, well, another thing that was really exciting uh-huh. that we got put together is uh, we, as Hyper Strength and Conditioning, yes, we've partnered with the Santa Clara Family Health Plan, Let's go. Blanca, Blanca, Blanca Alvarado Community Resource Center, Let's go. located at uh, Capitol Square Shopping Center on McKee and Capitol. And uh, we will be providing free full body strength training classes Ooh, to the community of Eastside San Jose. Eastside. Tuesday, Thursdays, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Open to all fitness levels. We are excited. We just did our first class. And the way this works, the, way, the reason why it's free is because uh, this organization has contracted us to do it. Mm. We, we reached a good uh, agreement. Nice. That works well for both parties. And... We're doing this for the first six months. We're trying it out, and we're and, and it went well. It's a sixty-minute class. We uh, we're designing the program to make it very, you know, it, it's. I like the mission of it is just basically trying to improve the health and well-being of the communities of Eastside San Jose. Nice. Um, like and the, these are people who like don't have health insurance, or you mm-hmm. know, they're they're working two jobs. They're in that lower bracket of income. Mm-hmm. And they need they need resources. They need help that they otherwise mm-hmm. don't have. And this is a place to get it. Medicaid, cool. Medicare. They they need help cooking. They have lessons of cooking. How to cook with how to cook healthy food with um, ingredients you would find in your pantry that you like with canned food. Really, just people who can't afford stuff. Right, right, right. But how do you cook? It's hard to cook healthy when you can't afford these top quality ingredients. That's true. So there's a chef that comes in Tuesday Thursdays and he shows them how to cook with whatever they have. Wow, yeah. that's so, cool. Every what Tuesday? Tuesday Thursdays, I think ten thirty. Okay. So if you're in the if you're East Side San Jose resident, definitely go out there. But this the what they're doing is Santa Clara has a fuck ton of money, bro. Like, hey, Santa Clara I, County has a I fuck say, ton I, of money. I always say Santa Clara County is the richest county in the world. It's so they have these resources, and th- their jobs here is to provide use those resources and to provide it towards un- under underprivileged yeah, communities. I and, like it. You know. I it was be. born and raised in Eastside San Jose. East Side, I had a baby. great, I had a great childhood, um, but I didn't think I lived in the fucking ghetto that everyone talks about. But yeah, what? The, oh, um, well, you, you did live by checkers, so checkers mob. <laughs> <laughs> like a mat? Will I get in trouble still? No. Are I mean, we still thirteen years old? I don't, uh, know. don't wear red. Don't wear red. Uh, no blue on Tuesdays. Uh, <laughs> why Tuesdays? No, I went to Morrill Middle School, and you could, all we wore was black and white. Oh, boo! Yeah, because you're, you're like, oh, because no. Morrill was a jail. 
Yeah, it used to you be remember a jail. that? I, used to be a jail. I, I, I wasn't there when it was a jail. I was <laughs> there when it was middle school. So. But I mean, everything, you know what? Now that you mention it, after working in juvenile hall. I don't think it was a jail. The walls. I don't think it was a jail. Kind of does look like a jail. Really? I thought yeah. that was like an urban legend. I mean, I'm sure if you looked up the history of Morel Miller, you could find out if it was jail. I don't think it was. Everyone kept saying it was a jail. It's too but small you guys, to be a jail. You guys had to. You guys always have to wear black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Gray was like, oh, ooh, you're wearing gray. No, Gray is like, you're like, oh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Cool Guy. Mr. Cool Guy. Mm. You mix your colors, you know. And then you got the guys that are like, yeah, we'll wear the black sweater with the black pants. But under, we have our Dragon Ball Z shirt oh. from Anchor Blue and shit. Oh, you know Anchor what I mean? Blue. Whatever. Can't dude. hate on that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was our childhood. But, you know, Eastside, definitely been good to me. Yeah, you know, so, so I'm glad to see that you know there's more programs out there for for people to get out there and move a little bit, you know. Yeah, I mean my buddy's uh he's I think he's one of the not directors but he he's he's a leader there. Yeah, nice. Or helps good. with the coordinating of the program and reached out to us and I like it. You know, I was we were talking about it. We had our first class and it was great. So yeah. we're going to keep doing it. Who's doing it? Philip Coach Philip. Oh, young Philip. Philip. Nguyen. Young. Yeah, Phillip. they're really specific too. Like, do your coaches speak Spanish and Vietnamese? Oh, yeah, of course. And I was like, oh, wow. Like, Latin. And Philip speaks conversational Vietnamese. That's what he says. That's good. And I'm like, I think that's all we need. And Perfect. Asked, and he's like, yeah, no, that's all. You don't need to be articulate. Yeah, just a, a scholar. Like, just you just to need get... to tell people how to do stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, people in this community, like, some of them, they just don't know English. And you got to be there. You got to help them out. So, all right. I was like, this is cool. I'm calling out Coach Philip on this podcast right now. Oh. I'm calling you out. I want you on here. Oh. I want you to talk about your experiences with these classes. Ah. So I'm calling you out. We'll find out if you listen to these podcasts or not. Yes. But we're calling you out. Coach Philip coming onto the uh, podcast okay. before Coach Ant, who's <laughs> supposed to come here for an episode or two. Oops. And never did. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Because he has bigger things to do. Mm-hmm. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah literally. He's big stuff. Big, 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 big. Making things happen. Booty camp. Bootylicious camp. You know, booty camp's actually starting on Saturday. Oh, is it? I'm going to be there. Oh. I'm going to be there for booty camp week one. Are you watching or are you doing No, I'm working out. <laughs> I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm participating in booty camp this Saturday. That's so good. we're going to check it out. And I'm just saying. I think we have space, so if you guys want to join, join Booty up. Booty camp this Booty Saturday, camp. 10 a.m., right? No. I th- is it 10 a.m.? I don't know. I I'm did not commit that. Number. I committed to 7.30. 7.30 in the morning, <laughs> Pacific <laughs> Daylight Time. Pacific Time. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's what HSC is doing. Sounds like he's doing great. He's doing great. I love it. But Ant still needs to be on the podcast. Yep. All right. <laughs> with that with that being said, um, yeah, we're really excited about that. So, one of the things that... People struggle with yeah. that I wanted to talk about. Because I was listening to some other podcasts. <sighs> Excuse me. Shout mm-hmm. out Gym Owners Podcast. Um, Shout out. They're, they're, I'm actually going to be a guest on their podcast on Thursday. Ooh, spoilers. Oh, my God. I'm Dude, like burping you're, all the time. you're leaking, bro. You're leaking. leaking information. Oh. Was I not supposed to do that? I don't that? know. <laughs> is, it, is that how it works? You're like, oh, we're not telling our guests or something. I don't know. Oh, I don't. Are we not that big yet? Oh, we're so big. So big. We're so big in New Guinea. I'm just kidding. Ooh, <laughs> Actually, like- you know what? No, we're going off on the tangent. Anyways, um, I'll go on to that. But New Year's resolutions, we're like yeah. going into January. Mm-hmm. For you guys listening, you ladies, gentlemen, individuals, how are you doing? If you chose to do a New Year's resolutions mm-hmm. with fitness, right? specifically with the goal to lose weight, lose fat, Change body composition. How are you doing? Are we hitting the stride? Are you struggling? Mm-hmm. Are you struggling with the number on the scale? The way you look in the mirror? One of the biggest frustrations. The reason why I ask that is because one of the biggest frustrations is that Austin, I started this program. Right. Four weeks in. I feel different. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like I look different in my clothes. Right. But the weight's not coming off. Mm. <clears throat> and then we usually ask. Well, are you tracking what you're eating? Yes. I'm tracking everything on my, okay. my fitness pal or lose it app and all right, that. I'm, right. I'm tracking everything. I'm taking pictures of it and everything. Cool. Are you weighing your food? What do you mean? Like, are you using a scale to weigh your food? Now it's like sounding meticulous. But 
at the same time, if you're struggling and you'd say you're mm-hmm. doing X, Y, and Z, and you're, you're making effort, you're doing it, but there's not, just change isn't happening. There's something's going on. Right. So it's like, how are we intaking? How are we measuring? We have to look at all this th- stuff, right? And you could you could run a marathon every day and mm-hmm. burn a fuck ton of calories, but that's not sustainable. Nope. But what is sustainable is checking how you are recording what you're eating. Oh. You know, and that, there's people out there, oh, you shouldn't measure what you eat and this and the other and all that. Okay, cool. Got it. But for those who are struggling and really want to lose fat and lose weight, um, one of the first steps is to get into a habit of just understanding mm-hmm. what you are eating. Mm-hmm. And that starts with measuring your food, weighing your food. Because once you start getting into a rhythm of weighing your food and seeing what it, what a hundred calories of rice looks like versus I feel like this is a hundred calories and it's like a fat bowl. Yeah. 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 It's like, that's not a hundred calories, girl. No, that's it's like, no, that I feel like it is. It's like, no. you feel like you want to eat rice, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. And if I just add a little bit of soy sauce and salt, oh. great. Mm. <laughs> I am not. Okay. Hot take right here, guys. I am not a white rice and put soy sauce on it type guy. What? No, I like it. I don't know. It, it's like um, it's good. It's I feel it's like for the non-Asian people. But I'm Asian. Yeah, it's, but I'm just like you're weird. I mean, you're just weird. <laughs> so you don't put soy sauce in fried rice? No, in fried rice. But I'm talking about oh, I'm gonna have a steak and I have white rice with it, but I need to put soy sauce. Oh, on my just white a little rice. bit. So good. No, I, that's just not me. It's not for me. It's not for me. In anime, they would do it. No, they don't. In the nice Shit. restaurant in in San Diego, it's a fancy restaurant. Uh huh. They do that. I don't know what time we went to different restaurants. No, but, we went to anime. Yeah, I know. But what are you talking about? The steak and the rice. Yeah, but they didn't. You didn't. They didn't put soy sauce on the rice. I did. You see, <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> no, but no, but okay. On, on the point of Austin's making about weighing your food, it's a huge. It's a game changer. One hundred percent game changer because. When I started this journey, it was all about like, okay, well, we're going to eat chicken, broccoli, and rice, right? Mm. Staple of any person trying to lose weight, Ugh, build muscle, chicken, stuff like that. Chicken, broccoli, and rice. And sometimes you're like, oh, well, if I eat a lot of chicken, it'll be good. But if you're eating chicken thigh instead of like chicken breast, the the amount of fat in chicken thigh is just very different from chicken breast. But it tastes so good. I know. It, it's fine, but you got to measure it, you know? Mm. there's a This is something I like to call like... um is it worth it? Is what? it worth it? Like, Let me work it. Yeah. Like, oh, then, 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 then reverse it. it. It's yarn from a nipple. And this is it's taken down from YouTube because <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> copyright. No, but what I'm trying to say is like, uh, you know, is it is the fat content worth the protein? Mm-hmm. And is that's why I say, is it worth? If if I'm getting like 50 grams of protein to about 15 grams of fat, mm. I think it's worth it. Mm. But if I'm going 50 grams of protein. And I'm getting 40 grams of fat like with lechon, it. Like lechon, like lechon, like lechon. Mm. I just you can't. I can't justify doing it. Yeah, because it's just like it's not. You know, I'm not going to be within my fat calories or mm. fat uh, grams mm-hmm. because I still need to eat more protein throughout the day to get my protein and my carbs and other things have fat in it. You know, yes. so that that's that's my that's the hugest thing is like just like you said, weighing your food. Just, you know, just to start out at least at the minimum. You know, so to get you know, I think this is a killing your calories, you know, but you, you'll figure it out eventually. Weighing, so weighing your food correctly is using grams. Yes. Using grams. You can use ounces. I'll take ounces. But grams in general help. Not like like drugs. Like no, <laughs> Not like cocaina. Cocaina. No, no. No, but like just measuring. <laughs> sniffing the freaking scale. No. <laughs> but um, uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, so you can use a food scale. Yes. And... You can get a food scale for fifteen bucks on cheap. Amazon. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Or you can get the branded Hyper Strength for a thousand dollars. Yes. Uh, either way, you can't do go wrong with. Can't any. go wrong with each. Um, the only difference between the branded one is that there's an H on ours, and there's none in Amazon. So obviously, you're gonna get the branded one. Yeah, branded. Because duh. Duh. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but long story short, you get it for fifteen bucks in Amazon, um, and I just get batteries. Because if you're going to use it a lot, it'll run out of batteries. Yep. But, I mean, I'm not saying go out when you go out to eat and fucking measure your food. Uh, but, like, when you're at home and you're making your own food, mm-hmm. I mean, you just put the bowl on the weight, on the food scale. Tear. Tear. Is it tear or tar? 
No, I think it's tear. Or tare. No, no, it's tear. <laughs> <laughs> but it, you do tear so you can reset it. Reset. And then you just put, Measure like, it. say, if you're cooking eggs, like, how much eggs? You know, how much is the, the eggs weigh? Or mm-hmm. how much chicken? How much ground turkey are you yep. putting? How much rice are you taking in? Like, and then you start calculating based on that weight how much calories you have and they have apps for that but once yeah. you start weighing that appropriately it'll give you better numbers yeah more okay. accurate numbers it's not going to be super accurate to the t because it's going to be hard to weigh like yeah. chicken thigh like right. you're really going to cut the fat out and really measure the fat yeah. in the, the, well, because also too if you think about it like like my fitness pal all that stuff it's like a generalization yeah. of like the food right so you cutting out all the fat of chicken thigh is not gonna like uh, like you said, it's plus or minus. You know what yeah. I mean? It's not going to be exact. But one thing, like measuring rice, right? You're like, oh, I just want, you know, I want 100 calories. And you look at the rice when you actually weigh it. You're like, wow, I'm getting a lot more than I thought I would. Exactly. You know what I mean? And exactly. it's just like, well, I should. This is great. Now I know. And you kind of, the more you do it too, the more the, you're going to get a better feel for it. Oh yeah. Like when I'm putting broccoli, I measure my broccoli. I put like three or four florets. I'm like, that's 75. And when I check it, it's like, oh, dude, it's 65. Damn, it was close. You know what I mean? I don't count broccoli. You don't count? You just, just eat it. You just eat the shit out of it? I just shit out of broccoli. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm measuring everything. That's just me, though. I'm measuring everything. So, um, you know, I know exactly to the T, you know, but. Uh, well, that's good. It's good because then now you, you could put your food in. And like you said, if you don't bring your food uh, scale with you when you go out and eat, now you kind of have an idea yeah, you of got, what it looks like. You have like. a better. So when you're out, you can make better, better choices. Yeah. You know, so he's like, oh, I'm going to eat the whole plate. Like, no, this actually looks like maybe double what I normally eat for my like rice or veg or whatever. You know what I mean? So you should test it on cereal. Ooh, because that that, that's an eye opener. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, it's crazy now because I'm always looking at servings. Right. So you're always like, oh, man, I want a bag of chips. Right. And like, oh, it's only 200 calories. But that's per serving. And the bag of chips has like eight. <laughs> so you eat the whole thing. That's 1,600 calories or something. Doritos? Dorito, dude, Doritos, two chips is like 150 calories. Something like that. Cool ranch. You cool. know? I mean, they well, the food scientists and Doritos and Cheetos, they, they make the food where it's like, where how how can we make this food so addicting that you're just going to yeah. keep eating it? Yeah. That's, that's an actual thing. Yeah. Uh, I think I trained a food scientist and she oh, was t- talking about it. Um. But yeah, oh, was- she's gone now. She, <laughs> she released too many secrets. <laughs> she's like, damn it, you know everything. You know everything. You know everything about the Funyuns. Damn it, damn. <laughs> Funyuns are great, though. But you know, I, like, uh, one of my favorite snacks right now is popcorn. Actually, popcorn's always been one of my favorite It's like ones. fiber and protein. Yeah, it's fiber and protein. But With like butter. But the butter's the problem, so. Butter's the best. But there's a lot of, like, brands out there that have, like, uh, like, uh, like the uh, I forget smart food and the boom chicka pop, you know, like boom chicka pop, yeah, like boom chicka pop, where you're getting some protein, you're getting some fat, but it's like it's all labeled there. What about the white cheddar smart pop? Oh, I think that one has a little bit more fat because of the white cheddar, so after, but it p- popcorn itself is a good snack because like most of the servings are like either by one cup or three cups, you know what I mean? So now you're like, okay. I like this. Now I can yes. measure it, and it's perfect. And well, it's more fiber. More fiber. You gotta, you gotta, you know. <laughs> what was that? You gotta shit. <laughs> you gotta poop, man. Well, you know, because you know, got fiber. You eat a lot of protein. Bro. Yeah, because if you take a. Oh, <laughs> <this bag. laughs> Damn! Hey, shout out to us. We didn't mention it last week. We're back on the train. Back on the train. Back on the Zempic train. <laughs> so I was actually listening, yeah, to this uh, gym in our pocket. They're talking about how like some some gyms now they're labeling, they're trying to label themselves as telehealth. What's that? <sighs> look, I, I look, I, I it, it. They're trying to get to a place where they can um like actually prescribe you or get you like drugs like Whoa. to help you with fat loss well like steroids like ozempic like, oh really like shit like that i wow. don't know like I, I like don't quote me on this i just know that the <coughs> idea is you position your business where you can have the the credentials or credential license i don't know to to acquire these fat loss drugs that actually work wow to pair it up with your training and now you're like showing like now these people are actually losing a lot of fucking weight. That's actually kind of scary to be honest. Yeah. But it's like it's like a marketing thing. Like, well, yeah. all these people are losing all the weight. Like, oh, that fool lost sixty five pounds working with that gym. I'm going there. Uh, but what they don't know 
is that they're taking Ozempic. And too. they haven't shit in like two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. You so know, it's like, that's what you want to do. Man, that's weird. I, I haven't heard of that. But, you know. I, I mean, people will do shit, man. But there's so many. Um, I don't know if it's the right word is apps, but companies out there that are like, oh, there's no doctors. You just tell us like what, what your problem is and we could prescribe you Ozempic or these. Something like that. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 there's yeah. companies out there like, oh, we could we could give you the these pills that are just, that have the same ingredient as Viagra, but you don't need to see a doctor. You could just go through us. and Like horny goat weed? Yeah, something like that. I don't know, man. Like there's people are always trying to cut corners. You know what I mean? And. I, for me, I want to stay safe. So if my doctor says we're gonna take Ozempic, we're gonna take Ozempic. But <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna go to my gym, bro. It's like, hey, dude, I hey, could get bro. you Ozempic, man. Can get you Ozempic. It's like Ozempic spelled with an S. It's like <laughs> it has like Ozempic, but like seven Z's in the middle. You know what I mean? And it's a pill. It's a pill. <laughs> not an exactly. Injection. You're like, wait a hey, minute. Wait a second. I thought it's an injection. No, this no, one's it's a, different. The pill. You put it up your ass. It's the same thing. <laughs> Like whoa, yeah. So I didn't know that. That's that's actually insane. I was listening yeah. to them because I wanted to do a little bit of research oh. on them, but it sounds <laughs> not it sounds... just talking out of our ass here. Like, huh? Who's that pig? Half the time, that's what we're talking about. But it's just funny because now I'm telling you, there's gonna be a lot of products about anti aging because it's hard to to have a drug for anti aging. But yeah. once I just grew up in the industry, man, where it's like, oh, fat losses and fat losses. And once they have a thing, a medication yeah. that actually helps with fat loss now everyone's shifting to uh um another thing that they could just sell more snake oil and shit you know if it was me like i would i would develop a, some sort of drug that would help you lose weight right but here's the kicker you take it but you keep losing weight so you have to keep eating you know oh, what i'm saying fuck. so i'm selling you the drug and the hamburgers you know what i mean <laughs> so i'm making double money that's that's that would be my goal like, you take a pill, you're going to lose weight, but you're going to keep losing weight. Holy shit. You know? Like, there's no, like, plateau, but, like, you, you like, you're like you going to lose so much weight that you'll disappear. You know what I mean? So you got to keep... You mean die. You, yeah. <laughs> disappear? Yeah. You'll, you'll die, die, bro. But, so you got to keep eating, keep your weight up and stuff. So now I'm like, well, now you want a cheeseburger? Come to my <laughs> restaurant or something. It's like it's like you're selling the bullets and the bandages. Wow. You well, know what I mean? Well, I mean, there are businesses like that. Lord of War. Jesus Christ. Like, so, you know, like... Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. But we're going to do it with Ozempic and cheeseburgers. So, like, you know, better consciously. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you look, you're very healthy, but you, now that you take this drug, you have to keep eating. I mean... <laughs> you know what's funny? You kind of have to keep you know eating what? in life you, anyway. Yeah, but you know why I thought of that? Because there's this anime that's coming out uh -huh. soon. Then And the premise is... There's this doctor who makes uh, a drug that cures every disease. So there's no cancer, there's no leukemia, stuff like that. And then all of a sudden he comes and says, everyone who took this treatment will die in five years. Get out. Yeah. So then, then he disappears. Wait, what? So he like, so like he basically he like, co like he committed everyone on earth to die in five years. Right. So now there's this group of people that are like banded together to try to find him. To see, to find out if there's like an antidote or something, and find out why he did this or something. I forget what it's called. I've seen it, like two trailers for it. It looks really dope, but that's where I kind of got the idea of what I just said because, like, that's insane. That's crazy. Yeah, if I send it, we'll put it in the. I'll, I'll send it to Austin, and you could share it with you guys on the show notes or something like that. But yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> Mononoke? No, that wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> I just put anime with medication. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have no. Googled that. I'll look it up. I'll look it up so we could. Uh, that's a crazy. Yeah. But um, they have this new game that's coming out that's what? uh on PS5 that I saw. It's like Virtual On. Uh, Castillo showed me it. What is it called? It. Oh, fuck. Is it Pal World? Mecha, Mecha no. Game PS5. It's not Armored Core. It's something else. Ooh. No, it wasn't Mecha Break? Was it Mecha Break? Yeah, I think it was Mecha Break. Yeah, it was Mecha Break. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it was Mecha Break. This. Oh, my goodness. 
Ooh. Yes. Whoa. Yes. You guys can't see this right now. Yes. But these look like Gundams. I'll try to like put it on. The wow. Like, like, dude. Okay. Ooh. This is sick. Oh, dude. That. Okay. It looks like virtual on. Oh yeah, yeah. Virtual. I know. Okay. Oh now, now I guess what you're saying. But Bro. they also have like very Gundam looking like. Bro. Things. Ooh. You know what? I don't want to be deceived by the trailer because sometimes the trailer looks really good. Yeah. And then sometimes. But like, this is what I like. I love this shit. Yeah, but it's like, it's so. Wow. Wow, that looks. Oh, man. I hope that. Like, the, it's like Zone of Ender shit. The, the, the shooting looks really good. The combat hand to hand looks sort of like uh, Dynasty Warriors. I, I bet it's like a bun smash. And they're broke. Oh, my God. It's multiplayer, bro. Oh my! Yeah. It, this looks like the game where you like kill little robots and then you become a bigger robot. It's like the oh, which one's that? It's like a it's like a iPhone game or like a little, oh little cell phone dude, game. Dude, wow, this looks pretty cool. Dude, I want to fucking play this so bad. Well, just to let you know, Austin will never play this game. I'm gonna play this game. <laughs> he hasn't played a game in like ten years. I, it's so hard. <laughs> she still gets mad, dude. Like she still gets, she actually lets me play. But it's just it's been it's been hard. Oh, uh, it's called Lazarus. Lazarus. So it's called anime doctor who creates a medicine that cures all but will kill you in three years. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So Lazarus. Yeah. Yeah. That's what. It's, yeah. That's in it. That's gonna. I think it's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun anime. So, I'm mecha break. <laughs> We're so off topic now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> This is part of the hey, we, fit, we got we got our we got we got the main part out. We, we got the main parts out. We talked about it. This we talked like about a nice, food. nice little yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. nice little thing, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um. What was it? I think. Yeah, I think that's about it for today, guys. I think crazy. Well, I mean, what else we did? That's it, huh? We did talk about everything on our agenda. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> we kind of breeze through that. We're getting better at this, guys. This is great. We're getting better at this. This is great. This is great. Hey, but we, this weekend, though, Niners, Detroit Lions, NFC Championship game, 3.30 p.m. Let's go. We don't, at the time of this recording, we don't know the results. We don't know the results, but let's hope it goes well. You know, good luck to the other team, but, uh. I hope we can pull this one out. And, Bro, what time are you tailgating? Uh, whatever, how early we could get there. So probably like 11.30 is the earliest we probably get in. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be in there already. Yeah. I, I'll be walking around the field. Get us in early, dude. <laughs> Tell them like, oh, let these guys in. I can't do that. <laughs> what is the point of you being on the hype team? You can't like <laughs> abuse your power and get your friends in for free. Bro. Or not free, sorry, like get in early. Like uh, that, that car's cool. That car school. Because that's a different department. Not There's that a car. parking team. Oh, yeah. What, what about the guy, like, the one you're, like, you dapped up on the way in? Can he get us in? Who's that? I don't know. The guy with the, with the he was wearing the headset like you. Oh, Siegfried? Oh, yeah. no, because he's in a different, he's part of the production team. Yeah, but he he could get a favor for a favor, stuff like no, that. No, because we're, like, both running, we're running around the damn stadium, dude. Yeah, run to the Well, because the NFL comes in, like, the evil empire and, uh, like, takes over the Levi Stadium. Really? Dude, NFL is, like, once it becomes, like, a big primetime show, oh. the NFL comes in, like, like Lord Vader. They're, like, like, we're taking over. We're taking over. Damn. You step aside. Step aside. Nine that's, you know, that's this gonna is a be, presentation for the NFC Championship. It's going to be very interesting to see how it goes. You know what I mean? Because uh, it looks like about 70% of the bets are on Detroit. It looks like it. Well, my dad today was like 100%, no, 80% guarantee Niners will win. Oh, I you wanna, know why? why? You know why? 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 Because they look so bad against Green Bay. They had trouble. And then Lions look so good. Oh, oh come on, guy. No way. You man. know what's hella funny, though? He he did place a bet with me for because I owe him money. Yeah. Because he won. Yeah. So he said, give me Detroit. I'm like, oh, okay. They're minus seven or six at the time. He's yeah, like, yeah. Is that cool? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So put it all. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. So I wonder, I'm, I'm waiting for the text to come if he's going to put it all on the Niners. Did he win? He won, yeah. He said probably 400 maybe? No, he did not win four hundred. How much he win? He, he the total. He has two fifteen with me. 
because he had originally he had uh 110 with me yeah and then the bet was uh detroit minus six so it was minus 105 so he ended up winning uh 105 off no yeah 105 off of it because 110 so he has 215 with me so so he put he put 100 on detroit he put the whole thing he put 110 and he got 105 105 back yeah Oh, because they were favorites. Because they're favorites, yeah. Um, so, so that's why I'm like, it's four. He does not have 400 with me, okay? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you better get your story straight. Yeah, well, I mean, was, whatever he wants it, he could claim it. Well, but supposedly he's saying 80 20 Niners. It's it's, it's looking. It's, it's how do you know that 70 percent of the bets aren't Detroit? Uh, I look at a. We have a website we go to. Oh. And it's not. I don't. I. I highly doubt it's like super accurate. But like it. It gives you an indication. Well, a lot of people are betting on Detroit. Yeah, I mean, plus they're on the road. Six. They get seven points, and they're they're America's team. Well, not America's team, but like they're the underdog. They're rooting for them, you know, because they haven't been. In, this is their second NFC championship, you know, forever. You in know? existence. In existence. So they want to. They you know they want they want to see them underdog win and stuff. And everyone in the AFC championship game are like. Let's just hope like they tie. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to see uh, either of the teams win. No, it's more like they don't want to see the Niners play the Baltimore or Kansas City. They want to see Detroit versus Baltimore. Oh, that's the ultimate. Like everyone's tired right. of seeing the Chiefs. I don't know why everyone's so mad at us, man. Well, because we're we're the bad guys. You know what it is? Are we the baddies? Like no, we're the bad guys. It, it, it's an East Coast bias. Everyone, yeah. everyone in the East Coast thinks they're football gods and stuff like mm. that because it was created there or some bullshit like that. Like it was in a college, correct? West, West Coast, West Coast sucks, stuff like that. But I mean, there's a West Coast offense for a reason. I know. So, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i just saying. I mean, it sucks to suck. Haters going to hate, right? <laughs> sucks to suck. Hater, hate. And... I mean, which of the East Coast teams are in the playoffs other than Baltimore? I mean, Kansas City's like... They're Midwest. East, bro. more East than West, though. Detroit is East. They're North. It, <laughs> north. <laughs> But they're east, kind of. They're on the right. I'm talking about east. No, yeah, you're talking about like like Baltimore. Baltimore's like east. east coast, you know, because they're like Baltimore football and crab cakes. That's what we do. Is that what they do? I mean, that's what they said in Wedding Crashers. But <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see, man. Who you got? AFC Championship. Who you got? Lamar or uh, or uh, Patty, uh, Patty Mahomes? I have Lamar. He's gonna, is he's, it because of football reasons or because I don't want to see Taylor Swift anymore? Both. Okay. <laughs> both. Uh, I just feel like that linebacker core for Baltimore really is good. insane. Patrick like, Queen. Jesus Christ. Like, that's what I'm nervous about. Like, if if we if we do it and they get in and it's like number one, uh, number one in sacks, number one points off. Like, it's a really good defense, man. I mean, it's a great opportunity for Brock though if he gets to that level, like to to kind of redeem, not mm-hmm. redeem, but like show the world. Like, yeah. All right. Hey, shout out to Pat McAfee. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He truly defended our boy there. He's all, I'm tired. He didn't have to do that. Yeah, he, he didn't have to yeah. do that. I mean, it's, And it's, he did. Yeah, but you know, it is what it but is. But also, Brock Purdy's trending, so smart move on him. Smart move. <laughs> <laughs> Get the ratings up, buddy. It was a good, it was a good call on him. Yeah, but, uh, you know, it. it is what it's going to be. It is what it is going to be this weekend, you know, so just hopefully it plays out, you know, how we, uh, how we feel it will be, but if it doesn't, then... Man. What's on the menu for um for for tailgate? tailgate? Yeah. All right, so I bought I have like at least like twenty four beef hot dogs, so that's like gonna be quick fire. I bought like t- like eight kielbasas. I'm gonna try to look for you. I got hot links. We got pineapple dogs, and I'm still debating. I'm, I'm making poke, I'm making my poke yeah, for I'll sure. Try to look for you. And I bought the big bag of uh um tortilla chips. Oh, nice. You know, the one, like, uh, from Costco? Oh. So we got that going, and uh, I'm thinking, I don't know if I should do tacos, mm. uh, but I, I'm, because I was looking at the prices of uh, skirt steak. It's pretty pricey now. Oh, really? Skirt steak? Like, yeah. It's pretty pricey, but I don't know yet. I'm, I'm thinking some sort of steak, maybe steak sandwiches. I'm not sure yet. I don't, I'm not going to do burgers this time, um, but, because with the steak sandwiches, I could sous vide the steaks. The morning of, and then when we get there, we'll just we'll just sear them up, cut them up, maybe a little chimichurri sauce or something, you know, maybe some nachos. I'm thinking Jesus nachos. Jesus Christ, with melted cheese. Well, because that? I'm thinking because I got that big ass bag of tortilla chips. Yeah, I, we're, we're, I don't know if I have enough poke to cover it, but I I doubt it. So I'll maybe some nachos, some nachos Jesus and stuff Christ. like that. So, well, yeah, 
I think we're gonna have we're gonna try to have a good time. We're gonna have a I got this giant charcuterie board. Like like it's like literally this big because my parents got it for Christmas and I was like, Can I use this? They were like, Yeah, sure. <laughs> so I told JP, dude, I got a big ass charcuterie board. Let's fill it up. Let's make it look good. Bro. But we might have to cut the tailgate short if my good friend Austin here gets us on the field pregame. So oh, wow. we will see. That's going to be a task. We a will see. Because I don't even think I can get on the field certain times so, now. We'll see. <laughs> my, my good friend Austin here. Will, uh... Wow. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I will but, yeah, try. We're going we're gonna to tailgate. We're going to have a little beverages. But, I'm excited. But we're not going to get too crazy. Are you sure? Because yeah. last time last time this guy was at a tailgate, I saw Kevin. <laughs> this fool was like. Well, it was against the Rams, and no one was playing. Oh, you so were gone. That was like the one time like I. You were yelling at things that weren't even there. Yeah, no, that was not true. <laughs> the banjo man was there, I remember. Are you sure, man? Yeah, he was. I have pictures. It was a pregnant lady with, <laughs> with a stroller. <laughs> no, 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 no. And you scared her. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> We have pictures. <laughs> right, we had a good time, though. That was a good one. That was a good time, man. That was a good time. Uh, last question before we close out. Uh-huh. When you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, okay. what goes on first, the peanut butter or the jelly? <sighs> peanut butter. I'm a peanut butter first guy. Okay, good. Okay. Because there was one dude, I was watching the Mind Pump podcast, and they had a clip that was cracking up mm-hmm. that uh, um, I think it was Adam. He puts jelly first, and he was defending it. He's like, you guys are weird. I put, I put jelly first. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know what? Okay. I, I, Do you have I, thoughts on that? I'm just curious. I can, I can understand why someone would go jelly first. It's definitely not the move for me. But at the same time, I'll be dev- devil's advocate here. You kind of, I, I put them, I put peanut butter on one bread and jelly on one bread. And then I put them together. Yeah. But what do you put first, though? Yeah. I put peanut butter first, you know, yeah. because uh, me personally, I think peanut butter, It you, if you use the same like utensil, for the thing, I think it's okay to have peanut butter in the jelly, but I don't like jelly in my peanut butter. Well, they're saying like, well, his argument is with the jelly, you could wipe it off with the bread, and it'll be clean. Okay, and then you can go in the peanut butter. Huh? I didn't look at that way, but I I don't think I don't think this is the big debate about PB and J. I think the big <laughs> debate for PB and J, are you a grape jelly? Or are you a strawberry jelly person? Oh, strawberry. Oh. Why? What's wrong with me? I'm grape. Well, I don't okay. No, but that's the huge debate about why peanut butter the, jelly. Why is the, why Cause, is cause some people are like it has to be strawberry. Some people are like, it has to be grape. I just I, sometimes I feel grape is too sour. Oh, that's weird. Or am I eating it wrong? No, no, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm I'm more of a jelly guy. I think I use I, I use strawberry jam more on biscuits. Biscuits and like butter. Hash browns? <laughs> Hash browns, you're a sick bastard. <laughs> Giselle does it. She has what? to What? Have... Yeah. Hash browns with Dude, I thought that was a thing. Is that a thing? I'm going to go talk to her. You should. I'm going to go talk to her right now. You should bust that door open and be like, what is this? Blast Strawberry on hash browns? Bro, it's it's the, like the, the McDonald's hash browns with the hash browns you get at Trader Joe's. Uh-huh. And she's like, I got to have my jam. And then like she'll put like the strawberry shit on it. And I'm like, what? I thought I knew her. I put, wow. I put butter on that <laughs> shit. <laughs> But dude, that's actually wild. I'm on a cut, so I've been craving a lot of buttery stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but I am seven pounds down. Let's go. This is great. So, with that being said, anything else, Kevin? No, that's it. Go Niners, baby. Go Niners. This is Coach Austin from Hyper Strength and Conditioning with your Nerd Out and Workout podcast, podcast. where we nerd out, workout, and, and podcast. podcast with my co host, Kevin Arab Arabagon. What up? And we will see you guys later. Keep bye. bye.